So we're on our way back to the car after seeing Soul Duck Waterfall, S-O-L-D-U-C. I don't know exactly how to say it. I would say that is the most beautiful waterfall I've ever seen in my life. I've seen, we've been to Yosemite and well, all over the place, but that was probably the most beautiful. The environment is very rainforesty. The way that the water comes down in three, basically four places, the moss growing on the wall of stone, the super narrow exit that it has. Uh, you can get right down basically and touch it. The rocks are like really big and seemingly safe to climb on. Um, it's just gorgeous. It's a 0 0.6 mile hike out, which, you know, is sometimes it's nice when you can't just see stuff from the car and um, you got to work for it a little bit. It's a nice hike, mostly flat. Um, so it's nothing too challenging. And it is absolutely, oh, they look, these look like tortoise shells. Huh, or fish mouths or something. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see on the thumbnail picture what it looks like. You can Google it, but it is so worth the hike. Um, the waterfall itself is just very unique. The way it basically makes a right-hand turn and comes out in three or four strands. But even without the waterfall, just that area, the river, the rainforest, the logs that have fallen over and are covered with moss, it's very, very special. This is like our, this is like my 30th national park, including uh, Denali National Park. And I just haven't seen anything like that before. It's very, very special. So if it's on your list, I would say put it at the top. And if it's not, I would consider adding it because it is great. It's a great place. Bring a thermos of coffee or tea or something like that. There's some lots of nooks and crannies you can sit at. And uh, it's a family favorite already. Check it out, Soul Duck.